In this tutorial, we will learn how to create 3D wedge. To switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. Then click on SI isometric and click on shaded with edges. Give the UCS icon command, enter no origin. Keyboard shortcut for wedge command is WE, enter. Then specify the first corner point. Then drag your mouse away, then give the length of the wedge, tab, give the width of the wedge, then enter, then give the height of the wedge. Your height will be created from the, your first point. You can give wedge command from here, click on wedge. You can also create a wedge using center point. The center point will be the center of the complete wedge. Click on the center, give the center point. Then you can also create a cubical wedge. Click on the cube, then make the ortho on for straight wedge and give the dimension. If I you enter. In the cubical wedge, length, height and width will be same. If you want to create the wedge in other direction, click on wedge. Give the first point, then select this length option and make the ortho off so that you can give the angle also give the length tab give the angle in which direction you want to specify the length of the wedge in this direction give the angle 90 degree enter then give the width for you enter then give the height in this way using length option you can change the direction of the wedge wedge give the first corner point then give the length. I want to create wedge in this direction. Give the length. Length is 10. Then tab. Then give the angle. Again 90 degree. Enter. Then width is 2. Then I want it the wedge to be going down. Wedge. Give the first corner point. Then give the second corner point. You can specify the height of the wedge as per other item. Suppose I want this wedge height to be same as this line. Then click on this two point option. Select the first point. Select the second point. So the height of both the wedges will be same. And if you want to edit the size of the wedge, click on it. And from here you can drag the line. And you can specify the increment length. Suppose two. Same way from here you can increase the length and specify the increment length. Same way from here you can increase the height. Here you can also specify the total height. To specify the total height you have to press the tab button. Using tab you can specify the total height of wedge. To give the color double click on it. Then select the color from here. Then press escape to come out. That's all. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.